it's vitally important when you watch this video that you copy it. Place it in a safe place because you're never going to be able to see this again. If our government is successful in control of the internet, this type of information will become non-existent. I'm emphatic about the point that you need to record this. This is a milestone in what you're about to see. What I'm using is a 12 volt lead acid battery, a SEC exciter, the standard L3, off of L3 I'm coming out of with a short test lead, an alligator clip, to a piece of a quarter inch aluminum, or I'm sorry, copper tape wrapped around at the bottom of this glass test tube. In, the test tube is mounted to the support board with candle wax. Inside the test tube is a piece of uh, rubber foam. Inside that foam I've stuck a 1N4148 diode. There are no physical connections to this diode whatsoever. The black construction paper is used to allow us to see the action better. And what I've done is I've filled that with distilled water. And I'll go ahead and connect this now and show you what we have going on here and why it's so important. The SEC exciter is operating. I'll zoom in here. We probably won't even need magnification. You can see what's coming off of the anode end of the diode. We are performing electrolysis by this small, very small capacitive coupling from this copper tape. If you notice, there are no bubbles coming from the cathode end of this diode. We only have gas evolving from the anode end of the diode. Let me take and bring some magnification down into place so we can look at this a little closer. Okay, I've placed a magnifier in front of it. We'll zoom in until the camera revolts. You can see the gas coming off of the anode end of the 1N4148. You can see there are some bubbles forming and maybe one or two coming around the base of that glass diode, but we definitely do not have the normal mixture of hydrogen and oxygen being evolved from this water. Now remember, the very important point here is that SEC theory, spatial energy coherence, will allow for up to thousands of these diodes mounted in a structure, an insulating structure like glass, surrounded by a capacitive excitation, they will all evolve gas and there will be no relation to the input power of the SEC exciter. Please copy this video.